So first thing I'm going to do is start adding layers to the drum kit. So when I mix now, what I do, I try not to do a ton of like, I try and add layers to compensate for what I'm trying to hear. So like if I want the kick drum to have more punch instead of like, instead of doing a ton of EQ and stuff, I'll add a bunch of layers to beef it up. And then maybe if I need to do it about at that point, I will. Um, so let's just dig for some, let's look for some samples, man. Let's do some digging. This might take me a second. <laughs> oh, I like the back road kick. It's a classic. That's a classic right there. Let's try and let's throw this one in there just to give it like more oomph and um, more of a clicking sound to it. Here, I now have so much more click. I didn't do any EQing or anything. I literally just took another kick drum and just threw it in there. So now I have this one and I have this one. All right, let's see. So what, so you don't want to just start mindlessly adding kick drums, but like, what do I want to do with this? So I added more click. Let's call this one click. Actually, no, let's call it back road kick. Cause I want to know, I want to actually know which one it is. <laughs> All right. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to add like an oomph an, um, an oomph kick. So, um, like a kick end type of a deal. I'm trying to find Daniel Bergstrand samples. These are all drum shot samples, by the way. You guys can find these online. Just Google it, drum shots. And they have tons of samples, and I just spend all my money on them. And it makes my life better. So then I continue doing it, and my life just continues getting better because of it. <laughs> all right, so kick end is what I'm looking for. Kick end, I think it's, I think it's this one. Yeah, so this is going to give it a lot more punch. So let's just listen to it in context. Or in solo. You hear how the drums now sound like there's so much punch here? It's just from adding in those kick samples that's it it's really that simple so i mean there's no need to overdo it that one sounds good so now we're going to start working on the snare samples so it's going to be the same exact process just on the snare instead oh wait hold on let's call this one kick end all right so now let's start adding in snare samples same idea I'm just going to listen to the snare and figure out what it needs and then find samples that work for that. See, so yeah, it just needs a lot of beef. For sure. Lots of beef. So let's try and find something beefy. Savage samples. What's this? I've never heard this before in my life. But sorry, the dog's barking because people outside are making a lot of sound. All right. Let's hear it. Whoa. Wow. That's aggressive. All right, so maybe I actually might be able to use this.
Oops. Hold on. I actually like that. Has a lot of beef. See, now the drums went from... The drums went from this... To this. Just from adding samples. That's it. Nothing else. So I'm going to call this one beef. And then I want to add more like a crack type of a snare. And just see if it works. See if it sounds good. So let's go dive in. Just see how it sounds. It's good to just test things. Trial and error. My entire life has been one giant trial and error test, basically. <laughs> um, there's one that I know I want in here, but I gotta just remember which one it is. I think it's, yeah, it's gotta be one of these, right? Is it snare two? I don't know if it is. I don't remember. I had it in that hardcore song. Hmm. Let's hear this one. Weird. Eh, it's not bad. Let's mess around with some other ones. Wow. I gotta get rid of those ghost notes because it sounds weird. I love snares like that. I don't know if that fits this song particularly. I do love snares like that. Yeah, that's fine. So what you want to do is you just want to find a bunch of samples and then you use the volume to add how much you want into that. You could use slate trigger as well. I don't have slate trigger. I'm probably going to buy it soon. It's the same idea. You're just, I'm just using sample matic which is the Reaper's version. They're, it's just like their sample player, like their free one. It's all free. Now that we've added so much to it though, this kick and snare have to come down a little. Cool, I like it. I like it a lot. I'm gonna go in to, uh, I'm using Get Good Drums by the way for the drums. I'm gonna go in, it's the P4 kit, and I'm going to maybe add a little bit of room or like some reverb to it. Yeah, guys, I've made all these changes so far, and I haven't touched EQ. I haven't touched compression. I haven't done anything like that. All like, I mean, I've some I've repeated the same thing probably a hundred times now. But this is this is before, after. So yeah, big changes so far. <laughs> <laughs> 